Welcome to my garage. And this is version two of the chicken wire disc cone. And you call last week or last video, I compared the homemade version one uh, of this to a high gain scanner antenna. Looks like the kind that hook up to Wi Fi, uh, Wi Fi routers. And this performed a lot better and uh, also compared it to a signal stick which was designed for two meters but it did pretty well probably as good as the scanner antenna but this beat both of them i didn't expect much of the signal stick because that's a great two meter antenna but uh, this was used for uh, the intent is to use it for scanning local p25 networks which are up at the 700 to 800 megahertz band um, which was where the supposedly where that high gain antenna was tuned, but the, the chicken wire beat it out. This vid, I'm going to compare it to this guy. This is what a lot of the scanner forums say is a good antenna. It's the Diamond D130N. Um, as you can see there, range of 25 to um, 1.3, 25 megahertz to 1.3 gigahertz uh, real nice professional antenna and I'm gonna test them just like this just like I did last time um, I'm going to test them on a carrier control uh, channel for P125 so I'll have a constant signal and we're gonna see which one's a little more sensitive which one gives me a higher signal to noise ratio between the diamond the diamond in the sky uh, and this guy right here, the chicken wire. Okay, we got SDR Sharp turned to the local P25 control channel uh, to get a constant signal. And if you remember, my version 1 homebrew was coming in just about 40 dB uh, signal to noise ratio. So how's our new version do? Well, let's check it out. New version, simpler, mm, 39 dB, I call it, uh, call it the same. And uh, last but not least, how's that disc cone from Diamond do? 39 dB, the same. So my $5 worth of chicken wire and PVC performing as good as a uh, $130 diamond? Yep, I call that a success as well. Thanks for watching.